guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing this all new Ram 1500 Longhorn Limited Edition. And before we start, I got to give a huge thank you to my dad for allowing me to review and off-road his brand new Ram 1500 Longhorn Limited Edition. Um, absolutely beautiful truck, both inside and out, as you'll see in this review. But for those of you guys who don't know, Ram's been around since 1981. That's when the first generation was released. Taking over the Dodge D-Series pickup truck platform, um, it never really sold very well when it came to consumers. It was mostly just a fleet truck. Uh, the automatic transmissions didn't come with an overdrive till later in that first generation. But fast forward to 1993, Dodge ended up releasing the second generation Ram and it really took the world by storm. It had an all new exterior design, all new engine options and transmissions, as well as a completely redesigned interior. They wanted it to look absolutely nothing like the Ford and Chevy trucks at the time. And they absolutely knocked it out of the park. It ended up winning Motor Trend Truck of the Year for its first production year in 1994. And it also quadrupled in terms of sales. So for like 1992, uh, Dodge sold about 95,000 Rams and it was mostly for fleet sales. But fast forward to 1994, 1995, they were selling 450,000 Rams every single year. But this is the fifth generation Ram 1500. We've already reviewed a couple models of this generation. Of course, this vehicle has won Motor Trend Truck of the Year every single year since it's come out in 2019. But we've already reviewed the Laramie and the limited editions on the Ram. So the limit is going to be the top of the line trim. It's going to be fully, fully loaded. The Laramie is going to be a mid trim truck, but this is the Longhorn limited edition. So this is going to sit in between uh, the limited and the Laramie trim. So what we're going to get here, of course, with a base price sitting around 56,000 bucks, a little bit below 56,000 bucks with the four x four um, here, as far as the exterior color, we're going to have the Delmonico red pearl uh, tri coat, and it's an absolutely gorgeous metallic color, um, especially with the body color bumper package. So we're not going to be overdoing it with the shiny chrome. But in the interior, we're going to have the black with the new saddle interior, and it's going to be gorgeous. You'll see the black and uh, brown contrast, especially with the saddles in the back seat. Definitely giving it a really cool uh, southwestern like theme to it. But anyway, as far as the motor, we're going to have the 5.7 liter Hemi with the e-torque. So the e-torque is going to be a belt driven generator. It replaces the alternator and it kind of uses regenerative braking to wind up and give you a little bit of extra boost off the line. So it's going to give you up to 130 pound feet of torque extra off the line. So it really helps you out when it comes to towing a trailer and it definitely gives you some better acceleration off the line. But as far as standard features, uh, we're just gonna have the 3.21 rear axle ratio here. So as far as towing, it's not gonna be the best. Expect to tow around 8,200 pounds as far as max towing, but we have a ton of advanced safety features such as um, park sense front and rear park assist and it stops for you full speed collision warning plus advanced brake assist of course you have a dampened tailgate as well as a power tailgate release but we also get apple carplay android auto it's not going to be wireless unfortunately but not a big deal we're going to have the alpine sound system with a subwoofer and it sounds really good it's not going to be as good as the harman and Kardon sound system but for a bass sound system i'm definitely definitely impressed but as far as options this vehicle is going to have a few it's going to be relatively base for a longhorn limited edition but we are going to be paying about 100 bucks for this metallic red paint. We're also going to pay about $900 for the trailer tow group. So what we get with the trailer tow group is the trailer light check. We're going to have the trailer reverse steering control. So me personally, I've never towed a trailer. So backing up a trailer can be really difficult, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So it's really nice to have the trailer reverse steering control on this truck. We also get the trailer brake controller that comes in your trailer tow group as well. For an additional 200 bucks, we get the body color bumper group. So that eliminates the chrome off the front and rear bumpers, definitely making the styling look much more aggressive. We're gonna keep the chrome for the grill, but I personally think it still looks pretty good now that we got rid of some of the tacky chrome down on the bumper area. But for 545 bucks, we get the bed utility group. That gives us the deployable bed step by Mopar, making it significantly easier getting in and out of your tailgate. We get four adjustable cargo tie downs too. And we're also gonna get the cargo divider. I'll show you guys how to install that and how it works. Once we go out and check out the tailgate, but for $840, we get the off-road package. So what we get there is about an inch of a lift. We're gonna get much beefier tires. We're gonna get off-road info pages for the infotainment screens, electronic locking rear axles. But the biggest part about the off-road package is gonna be the skid plates. We're gonna get skid plates for the front suspension, fuel tank, steering gear, as well as the transfer case. The off-road group also includes hill descent control. For about 2,300 bucks, we get the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi uh, with variable valve timing and e-torque. And last but not least, probably the biggest reason why my dad ended up going with this specific Longhorn Limited Edition, it's the Ram boxes. So on both sides of your bed, you're gonna have two lockable boxes. They lock with the truck, they're completely waterproof. And on the driver's side, you're gonna have a 115 volt AC adapter too. This is a thousand dollar package, but it's a really useful package. Perfect for tools, perfect for hunting equipment, groceries, whatnot. These are gonna be lockable and waterproof on both sides of your bed. But after a $1,700 destination charge, we're gonna be sitting at an MSRP right over 63,000 bucks. What do we get for that price? 
As far as the front styling, let's jump right in. So you're gonna notice your LED headlights, they're gonna be dual projector beam. These lights are adaptive, so they're gonna swivel with the turn, making it super easy to see out of this truck at night. You got dual daytime running strips up top and on the bottom, really, really good design with the black headlight housing over here and your turn signal right outside. But as you mentioned, we are gonna get the body color bumper group. That's gonna help the styling, especially with this chrome grill. I'm usually not a fan of shiny chrome, but Ram really made it work with the outsides of this light design and the way that it flows really, really sleekly to this massive, massive Ram badge. We're not gonna get the front facing camera, unfortunately, but that is coming as an option. As we come down, you can see you do get chrome tow hooks, full parking sensors up front, as well as parking sensors over here on the side, giving you the full 360 sensing. But anyway, you can take a look at your LED fog light, but continuing up top, you can take a look at the really aggressively designed hood. As the godfather of car reviews, Joe Rady always says, everybody wants the bulge, but this truck really does not disappoint. Um, to the side of the hood, you got the 1500 Hemi E-Torque with the blue E-Torque outline. As far as the wheel and tire setup, let's check it out. So these are gonna be 20 inch rims wrapped in Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires. So pretty aggressive tire compound as far as, far as the dimensions. They're gonna be 275-55 R20s. Uh, as far as the tire compound, again, these are gonna be an all-terrain tire. You can take a look at the tread pattern right here. Very aggressive for the street. But as you'll see, once you take it out for a drive, we're really not gonna get a whole lot of road noise. But massive brake caliper down here too. We're not gonna get any plastic cladding on the outside of the wheel well, definitely making the styling appear much cleaner. But anyway, you got the Ram Longhorn Limited Edition badge right over here. Fixed running boards, we do have power running boards available as an option, but these fixed running boards are gonna be what we have here, standard. But as you see, they're really not gonna affect the ground clearance because the skip plates down here are basically at the same exact level as these running boards. But coming up top, as far as the mirror, it's gonna be completely chrome with the Ram LED turn signal right over here, but we're not gonna get any blind spot monitoring. We are gonna get blind spot pockets, so for me personally, as long as I can see what's in my blind spot, I do not care. It's just a question for me, like you're gonna have a heated mirror, it's gonna be power folding, why not add blind spot monitoring too? I understand that it's coming on an option, but it's, I feel like it should be standard on a $63,000 truck. Continuing along, we got the chrome trim surrounding uh, the window frame. We're gonna have blacked out B-pillar right here that adds to the styling with this really dark tints out rear. We're not gonna get smart access for the rear, but we are gonna get smart access for the driver and the front passenger. If you want smart access for the back, that's when I would recommend going with the limited. But as far as the gas tank, you guys can check it out. We're gonna get pushed to open right here, easy fill. Premium fuel is recommended. However, this vehicle also does accept 87. But as we mentioned, for a thousand bucks, we're gonna get these Ram boxes, super useful feature. As you guys see, we can easily fit like two or three, maybe even four grocery bags back here. You got dividers over here too. Great spot for tools. You have these boxes on both sides of your bed as well. But only on one side, you're gonna have this 115 volt AC adapter, but still nice that you have it nevertheless. But over here on the bottom, we do get drain plugs. So if you wanna take this vehicle to a football game for a tailgate, fill it up with uh, cans, a bunch of ice, you can easily drain this uh, little Ram box area afterwards. But we can shut this thing up. Um, this vehicle does have the off-road package. As far as the suspension setup, let's go ahead and take a look. So of course we are gonna have a uh, live rear axle out rear, but we're not gonna have any leaf springs, surprisingly. We're just gonna have a shock spring and damper setup back here. So we'll see how this vehicle performs both on and off-road. For all you guys that are probably saying, uh, Will, you probably shouldn't take a Longhorn Limited Edition off-roading. I'll say they probably shouldn't have put that sticker on this truck then. But anyway, continuing along, we did install a tunnel cover the other day. Pretty convenient tunnel cover too. You simply open it up right here, press this button, and it does lock, but I currently have it unlocked and it slides right open. So opens up your bed completely. We also have the cargo divider right here. I'll show you guys how to set that up in one second. But continuing back here, we are gonna have LED taillights. Uh, we're gonna have this little area for the reverse sensing system. We got the reverse lights right back here. Massive limited Longhorn Edition badge right behind it. And I love how this tailgate has grip so you can really step on here without necessarily having to worry about slipping. But the Ram badge back here also massive with the horns. It's not gonna be aluminum, but it's gonna kind of feel like a high quality plastic material with the Ram up top, backup camera up top, surrounded in chrome. Uh, the tailgate, like we mentioned, it's gonna be damped. Four by four badge right back here, but let's check out this damped tailgate and see how it falls right down. But here you have it guys, here's your 5.7 foot bed. Uh, pretty convenient overall. As we mentioned, we are gonna get the bed step two. So what you do here is simply put your foot right on it, push it down, and it makes it super convenient and super easy to get in and out of your Ram 1500 bed. So as far as this cargo divider, uh, to unlock it, you simply just pull that latch, pull it out right over here, and your cargo divider simply falls right out and you can just take it out and put it wherever you'd like and you have full use of your five foot seven, 5.7 foot bed. But if you wanna set it back up, 
this is how you do it. So just pick it up right over here, uh, open it up on one side, set it up to wherever you'd want that side to be. So this looks like it's good enough and do the same thing over here for the other side. So once you have it straight, I think we have it straight right over here. Now we just lock it up. So we'll start off on this side, it's locked up and then we finish it off right over here. It's kind of hard to do it with uh, one hand. It's kind of hard to do it with two hands because you got to keep both sides locked at the same time. But there you have it. Now you have a very well divided cargo area. So what this allows you to have, especially with this tunnel cover, super convenient tunnel cover. Now we can keep like a bunch of permanent stuff back over here, cover this thing like this. And uh, meanwhile, you have a nice little area over here for groceries or whatnot. So even with the tailgate up, you can just drop the bags right in. Super convenient, but we can close up this tunnel cover completely right over here. Uh, it also locks up. You simply just push it down right here and close it up and it's completely locked away. It's not going anywhere, but we can take a step right down over here, shut this tailgate. And um, so as far as the step, I've never gotten this thing closed on the first try, but we'll figure it out right over here. Oop, third try is this charm, okay. But as you see down here, we get more parking sensors next to your exhaust tips, towing hitch receiver. This vehicle's rated to tow about 8,200 pounds. It would be ready to tow more if it had the 392 gears, but this vehicle only has a 321 gears. As you see, we are gonna get the wiring harnesses right over here, and it is gonna be illuminated with nice little lights over here. And the exhaust tips, definitely rumbling. We do get a full-size spare tire. It's gonna be an 18-inch steel wheel, but it's still gonna be a full-size spare. But as far as the exhaust tips, We'll take a step back and give you guys a couple revs and hear how this 5.7 liter Hemi sounds. All right, guys. So that was, of course, the sound of the 5.7 liter Hemi with the e-torque sold by Ram for this 1500 Longhorn Limited Edition. So let's check it out. We are gonna get struck, super convenient. Really nice area for the washer fluid too. Very good location. But here you have it. Here's your 5.7 liter Hemi V8. We're gonna be making 395 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque. Enough to get this truck to 60 in the low six second range, uh, 6.2 is what the Motor Trend claims. But as far as this e-torque system, it's gonna be a belt-driven generator. It's gonna replace your alternator. It's gonna use regenerative braking to store energy and give you about 130 extra pound feet of torque off the line, making it super convenient when towing a trailer and definitely helping acceleration off the line as well. Uh, the intake is gonna be pretty high off the ground. That's pretty good for off-roading. Batteries on the driver's side, that's not the best when it comes to weight balance, but not a big deal. That's about it back here. We can shut this hood right over there. Take a step back, you guys can take a look at the front styling one last time. And let's take a step over here and check out the interior on this Longhorn Limited Edition. This is where it's gonna really, really shine. So stepping in here, you can take a look, full leather door panel. You can have leather for the armrest, super soft with the contrast stitching. Soft leather even for the upper part of the door panel. Uh, the brown leather is going to contrast the rest of the door panel really well. Some really nice genuine wood grain trim over here too with some genuine aluminum on the outside. Uh, this leather over here in the middle is going to be like gator skin. It's going to be a reoccurring theme for this truck. Really high quality, really cool look. Uh, the aluminum door handle is not going to have the most resistance. It does kind of feel a little bit flimsy and cheap. Probably my only complaint with this interior. Uh, memory seats, two-person memory, power one touch for the driver and the front passenger, no power one touch for the rear but that's coming on the limited trim. Lock and unlock, lock the windows in the back. You can power fold the, the mirrors, adjust them four way right over here. And that rubberized grab handle, you can have two tier storage back here, but on the bottom it's gonna be massive storage. Easily fit like two or three foot longs on both sides. Uh, you can fit a 12 or 16 ounce uh, can or bottle right over here in a nice little Red Bull can right next to it. Um, I like the two tone contrast. This vehicle is gonna have an Alpine sound system and the speaker grill is gonna have some genuine aluminum on the outside. This is not plastic. So the Alpine sound system is gonna be a nine speaker with a subwoofer. It's not gonna be anywhere near as good as the Harman and Kardon, but this is still an unbelievable sound system, especially for a base model. But anyway, as far as these seats, like you mentioned, we're gonna have the fixed running boards with the Ram aluminum badge right over here. It's not gonna be illuminated, but still really nice to look and be introduced to the Ram as you step inside. But anyway, as far as the seats, these are unbelievable seats. Uh, you can check out the limited Longhorn Edition stitching right up top. Super soft headrest with the leather on the back of the headrest. There's gonna be leather on the back of these front seats. Really impressive seats overall. Super comfortable, love the perforation. They're gonna be heated and cooled. So the perforation makes the heated and cooled function work just that much better. The bolstering, it's not gonna be the most supportive, but definitely more than supportive enough. I was actually surprised on how well supportive these seats are for a truck. But as you notice that gator skin leather is gonna continue 
right over here, right next to the perforation, really nice touch overall. As far as the adjustability, uh, full adjustability, you can slide them, drop them, lift them, recline them right over here. Uh, Four-way lumbar control and more, more aluminum on the outside. But as far as these floor mats, they're also really cool. They're gonna be two-piece floor mats. Uh, you can unbutton them right over here. So if you're at a job site, if you're off-roading and you don't wanna bring in a bunch of dirt into these floor mats, you can just take off the little carpet area and have this nice all-weather floor mat at all times. And the floor mats gonna have a nice, hard, limited Longhorn Edition badge right over here. Definitely a nice, high-quality touch as well. But let's take a step inside and really check out the interior on this all-new Ram 1500 longhorn limited edition but the first thing we notice in this interior is going to be the steering wheel we got this massive wood grain steering wheel i'm not sure if i can pick it up on the camera but we got some cutout inlays over here for your fingers so definitely giving you very solid grip as far as the horn area you have a 3d ram badge as far as the horn itself really aggressive sounding horn uh, one of the more aggressive sounding horns kind of expected for a full-size truck but people are definitely going to be getting out of your way as far as the stitching it's going to be contrast stitch same color as the wood the wood accent continues down over here uh, but I like how you have a, like a little slot for your hand. So if you want to be reckless, drive with your arm on your lap, you can do it here. If you want your arm on the armrest, you have a very solid slot over here. If you want to have your arm on the upper part of the door panel, the steering wheel just fits your hands really, really well. But as far as the steering wheel controls, we're not going to have any manual shift modes. Uh, these kind of function as manual shift modes. You can downshift right here and kind of disable your overdrive if you'd like to. But it's still not going to be true manual shift mode. Over here to the left, this is how you adjust the um, infotainment setup right over here. And I don't know if you can pick it up, but this infotainment setup has like leather on the outside of it. Really, really high quality touch. You definitely don't see that in a lot of vehicles in the market. But anyway, surrounding this steering wheel is also going to be really high quality aluminum. Well, don't really expect that, but it's definitely nice to have on a $63,000 truck. Uh, we're going to have automatic headlights. You can have the bed lights right over here. Fog lights too. You can adjust the interior brightness right over here. But electronic parking brakes right over here. We're going to have adjustable pedals. That's a great feature if you're sharing this vehicle with shorter drivers. You can pop your hood right over here and you can tilt and telescope the steering wheel. It's not going to be a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. That would definitely be nice, especially with the vehicle in this price range. But it's still nice that you can tilt and telescope the steering wheel nevertheless. Uh, very soft leather trim right here with the contrast stitching. More aluminum surrounding the air vent. And you got some wood grain trim right here with some barbed wire aluminum. I'm not sure if I can pick up the barbed wire, but that's also going to be a reoccurring theme in this truck. But anyway, we're going to have rain sensing wipers right over here as well. Definitely a great feature. As far as the gauges, they're also going to have that barbed wire on the outside of them for the speedometer and the tachometer. Really cool design. We're not going to have a red line, but the transmission shifts around 56, 5700 RPM. So not the highest revving engine, but you're going to have more than enough torque. As far as the adjustability, we're just looking at the digital speedometer right now. You can press this down button and adjust between uh, vehicle information. So you can see how many hours you've spent idling, driving in total. You can see the off-road information. So as far as the drivetrain, you can see the pitch and roll. Uh, you can see your transfer case information. You can see your pitch and roll right over here in the degrees as well. But if we go up by one, as far as the in vehicle information, you can also see the tire pressure, coolant temp. You can see the trans temp, oil temp, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, and your gauge summary. So also you can check a look at your fuel economy settings. So here you can just see average fuel economy. We spent a ton of time idling in this truck. So that's not gonna be an accurate reflection, but I also like how you can still see your digital speedometer up top next to your temperature and compass as well. But continuing along, we can also take a look at your uh, trip information. So you can just switch between trip A and trip B and see what your fuel economy is and mileage is from the last time that you reset the screen. Also, you can see your start stop information. It's not gonna be ready if we're not driving. You see your trailer trip towing information too. I've never towed a trailer, so I really can't give you too much information about this. As far as the trailer brake controller, this uh, screen kind of shows you how much of the trailer brake you're using. So you see it adjusts between how much you pull this back and forth. So that I can show you, I'm not quite sure what it really does, especially since as soon as you let go, it just goes back to zero. But continuing along, you can take a look at the next thing. So you can also see the light electric, trailer brake as well as the trailer light check so those are those are all coming with your trailer towing group that's gonna be a package on this truck so very nice to have if you are gonna be towing with this truck but here you can see the media see what songs playing you can see your messages pretty nice you don't have to look through your phone um, and you can also look at the overall setup right over here my personal favorite to look at at all times is just this digital speedometer so we'll leave it right over here but also in these gauges you got a voltometer you can see the oil pressure you can see the coolant temp and you can see the gas level right over here uh, the speedometer goes to 120 however this truck's limited 
at 118. So you're not gonna quite reach that 120 mark, but I don't really think you should anyway. But as far as the dashboard, everything's gonna be completely leather with the contrast stitching, super high quality materials. You can take a look at your Alpine sound system right here with some more of that Gator trimmed leather and aluminum little ram area over here. And as you see, the radar detector has an absolutely perfect spot for the 12 volt. However, uh, the 12 volt doesn't shut off with the truck. So um, at, when, you tr when you shut the truck off, the radar detector stays on. So it, it could really drain the battery long term. So you're gonna have to either unplug or shut off your radar detector every single time you shut the truck off. Uh, this radar detector eventually will be hardwired. So it's just gonna turn on and off with the truck, but it's definitely something to be aware of if you are looking to use a radar detector with this truck. But anyway, next to it, you're gonna have more of that grain wood trim, super high quality with the aluminum on the outside. Some hard plastic over here. It's gonna be like aluminized, but I think it's still gonna be just a plastic material. Uh, but the materials here, everything's gonna be stitched. I love the contrast between the brown and the black leather, especially with this brown grained wood with the start stop right over here. But continuing down, we are gonna have four by four in this truck. You got your two wheel drive, four high, four low, and the four wheel drive auto. Uh, you can turn off the start stop right over here for the purpose of this review, we'll press this button. You got your hill descent control and you can lock your rear axle right over here. Uh, but here's your gear selector. I like how it doesn't go on forever. So once you hit drive, it stops moving. Once you hit park, it stops moving too. So it's not just gonna be a constant turning dial like this volume switch. Definitely gives it a much more high quality feel. But speaking of volume switch, you guys can take a look at the media controls right here. You can see what songs are playing. You can adjust between phone settings, Apple CarPlay and whatnot. As far as the climate, you can adjust it through here. However, we don't have the 12 inch screen, which makes it super convenient to adjust the climate without having to go through the screen. You got the heated seats right here, cooled seats, heated steering wheel, vent controls, and the AC controls right over here. Of course, we are gonna get automatic climate control too. But containment lock, you can also see the heated seat, vented seat, steering wheel, mirror, dimmer, backup camera, all through the infotainment screen. As far as the backup camera, let's check it out. So pretty, it's gonna be pretty good resolution as soon as it comes up, but you can see we're gonna have guidance lines and trajectory. It's gonna be very, very high resolution screen too. No 360 overhead camera. That would be a really nice feature for a full size truck. I had it, we had it on the GM trucks review in this channel and I really think it's fantastic, especially with the camera for the mirror. We don't have that either on this truck. Those are both these super, super appreciated. However, they are gonna be options, just not spec in this specific truck, but we can get out of here. Um, as far as the apps, you can take a look at all of them right over here. We're not going to go through all of those. Uh, we are going to go through the off-road pages because I do think those are pretty cool. But as far as the off-road pages, you can take a look at the vehicle dynamics. It shows you the steering angle. It shows you the longitude, latitude, and altitude. So right now we're at 63 feet. You can see your transfer case information over here. We're currently in two-wheel drive high with our rear axle unlocked. Uh, we can see the accessory gauges. Let's us know the coolant temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, trans temperature, and the battery voltage. As far as the pitch and roll, we can see exactly that we see the pitch and roll but we can get out of here and see what else we have so we looked at the backup camera we are going to have a heated steering wheel super high quality feature as far as the overall settings we can see what we have available we can have all these you can take a look over here so as far as brakes you can activate an automatic parking brake when you put the vehicle into park and this truck also lets you know when, this, when these brakes need service as far as trailer i've never towed a trailer so leave a comment let me know what exactly this does but when you press the button, you can name your trailer. You can give it a name, you can name it Will if you want to. As far as the trailer braking, you can adjust between light or heavy. So I'm not quite sure exactly what that does. If you're an expert when it comes to towing a trailer, please leave a comment and let everyone know. But coming out of here, uh, you can take a look at your navigation screen. So once it loads up, you can take a look at the map right here. So pretty high quality screen, pretty solid resolution, pretty good response, not the best response, but more than responsive enough gives you just about everything you would need. And this vehicle does, of course, come equipped with Apple CarPlay too. But as far as the phone settings, we don't have any connected right now, but you can easily connect it right over there. As far as the settings, we already take, took a look, but you can take a look through all of them one last time. But that's about it. My personal favorites to look at at all times, probably just gonna be the nav screen. Uh, continuing down here, you got your volume adjustments, really good weight resistance. You got the tuning adjustments right next to it. You can mute the audio, you have your hazards, and you can turn the screen off right over here. But down here, we have the heated steering wheel controller. You got the heated seats for both the driver and the front passenger, cool seats for both of them as well. Automatic climate control, recirculation, you can turn off the climate right here. You can control the vents and you got the defrosters right over here. But down here, you got the trailer brake controller. We got the trailer steering right over here, right next to it. Uh, tow haul mode, traction control off. And when off-roading, you can turn off your parking sensors and automatic braking right over here. And personally, I would recommend doing this because when you're off-roading, uh, this vehicle kind of picks up a bunch of like, like small little trees that are like a foot tall that this truck would just run over without any hesitation. And it just slams on the brakes for you, trying to avoid those little obstacles. But 
uh, if you press these two buttons, the truck will not be doing that. Um, I haven't had that issue on-roading yet, but off-roading, it's definitely something that you should be aware of. But anyway, continuing down here, I like the storage area. It fits the iPhone Pro Max with no issues whatsoever. That's where I leave my phone at all times. Uh, two USB-Cs, two USBs, and an aux port. This area right here, it's not a wireless charging pad. However, if this vehicle was equipped with one, this is where the charging pad would be. And since this vehicle does not have wireless Apple CarPlay, I personally don't think it's necessarily necessary to have the wireless charging pad. But anyway, continuing back over here, this area does slide back and forth, allowing you to have an absolutely massive, massive storage area. You are gonna get an AC adapter right over here as well. So definitely help you charge a bunch of stuff up for the job site. But as far as the storage massive, I could easily fit like two of my water bottles with no issues whatsoever. Very, very solid storage. And we can slide it up Right over here, we get two additional cup holders with a pass-through. That could be a good spot to slide your phone. Uh, really nice wood trim. There's going to be more over here. You can close this up. You got that really nice wood trim with the barbed wire etched into the aluminum. Really, really nice touch for this interior. But anyway, as far as this wood trim, uh, really, really well-grained, just like the rest of this interior. Felt-lined area over here. Pretty good spot for coins. Pretty good spot for license, registration, insurance cards, or whatnot. Very nice quality. But... Anyway, as far as this armrest, uh, the center console armrest, really soft. You got that gator skin leather surrounding your limited Longhorn Edition badge. And this is going to be aluminum, metal, some type of metal material. Very, very high quality, especially with the contrast stitching matching the wood. But as far as the first tier of storage, this is going to be a two-tier center console. The first tier is going to be pretty large. I'd say you fit 12 iPhone Pro Maxes in here. Fit some coins over here on the side as well. And you have a USB port right back here. And it is aligned with felt. But as far as the second tier storage, this thing is going to be absolutely massive. We are going to get some stuff in here. We've got some leather wipes, but you can easily fit like two, maybe three of my water bottles in here. Probably just two, but super sized storage compartment. Really impressive overall. And down here, we are going to have a little bit of an additional little cubby. Pretty good spot to put some keys or some coins or whatnot. But on the other side of the center console, we're going to have an entire sheet of equations. We're going to start with the trigonomic ratios. they got the hypotenuse over here. Pythagorean theorem, you got the metric system conversions and the fraction to decimal conversions right next to it. So not quite sure why you would ever need that information, but it's still nice that RAM gives it to you if you would need it. But anyway, that's about it. We can shut that up right over here. We can take a look at this area. Everything's gonna be super high quality leather stitch trim. Uh, this is gonna be your first tier for your glove box. Very nice wood trim as it continues throughout the entire interior. The limited Longhorn Edition is gonna be burnt into the wood. So kind of like a barrel of whiskey, the way it does that really, really unique touch but opening it up you can take a look at the space i'm not quite sure if you can pick it up but you can easily fit like two pairs of shoes in there pretty solid storage and it is going to be lined with felt as far as the main glove box we can pull this latch right over here we're going to have super soft leather over here as well but as far as this glove box not the most space it's also going to be lined with felt i'd say you fit between 10 to 15 license plates kind of surprised how uh, small this glove box is but again not a very big deal especially since you do have two of them but coming up top, we mentioned we're not going to have the camera mirror, but still a very good view out of the back. Uh, it's looking to be a frameless and auto dimming mirror to open up the fifth window. You can press this button right over here. And this completely gets rid of all the wind buffering when you have the windows down driving in high speeds. And it also allows you to throw some stuff into your bed without necessarily having to get out of your truck. But finally, we are going to have some storage over here for the uh, right side of the driver's leg and the left side of the passenger's leg. And this whole area, this trim for where the legs will often hit, also, super high quality, soft leather with some contrast stitching. But that's about it for the front seat, guys. Great features, unbelievable quality materials. Let's hop out back and see how much space is offered back there, as well as the overall quality. All right, guys, step into the back seat of the Ram Longhorn Limited Edition. We're still going to have that super soft touch materials for the upper part of the door panel. Soft brown leather contrasted all the way over here. Really impressive quality materials with that gator skinned leather right over here with some grained wood right above it. But anyway, the armrest is gonna still be super soft leather, rubberized grab handle, no power one touch for the rear passengers. You're not gonna get dual pane windows either, but we are gonna get dual pane windows up front, definitely making the interior significantly, significantly quieter. I like the two tier storage, pretty solid storage here, but massive, massive storage down here. You can easily fit a big gulp here, probably fit maybe a foot long because it does go in pretty deeply over here. And you can easily fit like two or three foot longs on the side right over here so alpine sound system is going to be aluminum on the outside i like this ram illuminated little nameplate same thing with the front seat we're still going to have the fixed running boards right over here but as far as these seats unbelievable perforated leather for the middle these are going to be heated not cooled however cooled seats are an option and they do come on the limited trim too but as far as the seats themselves you got the limited longhorn little stitch right over here and that gator 
gator skin leather continues super nice uh the perforated leather is also nice i like the bolsters for the back seat not the most bolstered to be expected with most back seats but still more than supportive enough these seats also pop up allowing us to have some extra storage down here and these floor mats still they're going to be that same two-piece floor mat so you can unbutton them and you can turn it into a full all-weather floor mat if you're taking it to a job site taking it off-roading or whatnot but also we get some secret storage back here too. I'll put my foot here to position the floor mat, but we can open this thing up and take a look at this little cubby over here. And it's pretty large. I'd say you fit like 10 cans in here if you need to. And you can also use this as like a trash can for your truck because this is removable. You can just dump some stuff out if you need to. And you also have the exact same thing on the other side. Very convenient back here for your Ram Longhorn limited edition. But anyway, that seat, that side of the seat also comes up the exact same way, allowing you to have a very nice flat floor area, kind of like a twin size bed. So if you need to sleep here overnight, this could definitely accommodate it for you, especially with the air vents right above you. But anyway, we can put this seat right back down and take a step in here and really see how much space is offered. So unbelievably impressive. I'm six feet tall sitting behind my seat settings. As you mentioned, we're gonna have full leather behind the front seats you really do not see that very often i love this saddle for the map pocket that definitely gives this truck a nice unique touch as well uh the wood trim is going to continue back here you got two cup holders with some pass-throughs good spot to leave a phone this is also a good spot to leave a phone especially considering the usbs and usb c's are right next to it but these are going to be heated seats no cooled seats that is available though uh, you're gonna have ac adapter really convenient when it comes to charging some stuff up i would like to see a third zone climate back here kind of unfortunate that we don't have one but still nice so you can adjust the vent speed but that's about it guys we can open up this little center console area and this is also really convenient check this out so we are going to have that gator skin leather over here for the top part of the console we can open it up and you're going to have a really solid storage you probably fit i'd say nine iphone pro maxes in here you can put a pen right over here too pretty convenient overall it is going to be lined with felt uh the cup holders are going to be rubberized and if you have a nice pass through pretty good spot to keep a phone but we can shut this thing up. That's about it for the back seat on this Ram Longhorn Limited Edition. Unbelievably impressive truck. Unbelievable space. Even more unbelievable quality when it comes to the materials. But let's take this truck out for a drive both on and off-road and really see how it performs. All right, guys. Now that we've just about seen everything we need to see with the inside and outside of this all-new Ram Longhorn Limited Edition, let's take it out for a drive and really see how it performs. So we're going to start off uh, just on-road, regular pavement and just see how it performs. So the first thing I notice is the commanding view of the road. You really sit up high. I have the seat set at just about its lowest setting. I'm still really, really looking down at this road. Very confident, inspiring, very commanding view. It makes you feel like you're kind of like the king of the road. Another thing I notice right off the bat is the interior is unbelievably quiet. You hear just about zero wind noise. Uh, you don't really hear any road noise either. And running over these bumps, you, do, you don't even know that they're there. Uh, obviously these 55 series sidewall off-road tires definitely help when it comes to ride quality, the heavy duty shocks also don't hurt, but it's truly remarkable the way this vehicle hits bumps. This isn't even the air suspension. Uh, the Limited that we reviewed in this channel did have the air suspension and it didn't feel much softer. It definitely felt a little bit softer, but uh, it, it definitely had more body roll too. So this does have a very solid compromise. It makes you feel a little bit more planted to the road while still being unbelievably composed over bumps. Like right here, horrible central pavement. Boom, it just runs over like it's literally nothing. I can't, I'll put on the POV hat at one point in this review so you guys can really see the bumps that this vehicle is running over. But so far, unbelievably impressed. And this vehicle does have cylinder deactivation. So right now we're just cruising around 40 miles per hour. Um, and it says eco. So eco means that we're going to be running on like half the cylinders. And as we slow down, you can see that the eco also lights up showing us that the e-torque is going to be filling up a little bit of that regenerative power but stepping out over here we'll lean into it about halfway once we're situated right over here very solid power we go to about 4,000 rpm and we get to 50 miles an hour just about effortlessly you don't really hear a whole lot of engine noise um, i'll do an off the line acceleration where i'm not talking while the vehicle's accelerating so you can really pick up the engine note a little bit better there isn't a whole lot of noise to the exhaust so i definitely think this vehicle could benefit from a muffler upgrade uh, I wouldn't suggest doing like a resonator delete or a muffler delete because that kind of defeats the purpose of this vehicle. You wouldn't want it to be obnoxiously loud. It's still a luxury truck, but a little bit of grunt in the exhaust, I feel like it definitely would make this truck a little bit better. But right here, unbelievably rough road, and this thing just drives over like it's boom, nothing. I'll put on, I'll definitely show you guys a little stretch of that road with the POV hat so you can really see how composed this vehicle is. But wow, it just drives over it like absolutely nothing but we got some smooth pavement right over here should give us a good opportunity to see how this vehicle can accelerate off the line so we'll slow down right here and i'll catch back with you in one second 
but all right, right here, two wheel drive on the gas. Ooh, no wheel spin at all. Yeah, we don't have to push it a whole lot farther than that, but this thing can really, really move it. I can definitely see it getting to 60 around like six and a half seconds, maybe even a little bit quicker. Definitely strong off line. I was expecting to have a little bit of chirp in the tires off the line, but we just matted it to the floor in two wheel drive and absolutely nothing, no drama whatsoever. Uh, the new tunnel cover is weighing us down a little bit in the rear, so that may kind of help when it comes to traction, but again, it just, but we got a pretty sharp turn right over here. We'll slow down a little bit. We'll hit a little bit faster than we should. And the body roll is definitely there. You can definitely feel some body roll, but it stays pretty composed. You're not feeling like you're gonna flip this truck over at all. There's definitely plenty of sway. I think there's noticeably more body roll versus the Silverado and GMC trucks that we reviewed in this channel. Even the AT4 with the two inch lift and the beefier all-terrain tires, I still feel like it had less body roll than this truck. But even though this vehicle does have a solid amount of body roll, it doesn't feel like it's like loopy. It doesn't feel like it's unsafe to drive. Right here, we have some really sharp twisties. You'll see, we're gonna be going through them at about 35, 40 miles an hour, and we're not gonna be worried about flipping. You could definitely feel the body roll, but whew, it stays really composed throughout the twisties. And on the gas, right over here. Whew. This thing can move on the brakes. We definitely need to slow down for the twisties, but throwing it in, whew, this thing can, still handle pretty pretty well and come in out <laughs> this is a fun truck guys obviously it's not going to be like a sports car you shouldn't expect it to be and even when you're off-roading it you shouldn't expect it to be like an off-road beast this is a luxury truck uh, with really really high capabilities for both on and off-road although it does have very good off-road capability it's just not going to be what it's all about this is still going to be prioritizing comfort and luxury over overall ruggedness but it still does everything everything more than well enough right here you can take a look at this vehicle's turning radius really impressive and you don't really feel that much body roll even though we're hitting the turn pretty aggressively but come back out here about third throttle solid torque you get to speed very very quick it really is a super luxurious ride and you can still have some fun when you want to like right here off the line on the gas boom just puts you in the seat and <laughs> I like this engine though. I definitely wish we heard a little bit more of it, but it definitely has a really throaty noise when you're like, hammering down on the gas. Uh, very, very fun to listen to this 5.7 liter Hemi roar through the RPM range. But one more little sharp twisty right over here. We'll hit it faster than we should. Feel the body roll, but still super composed. And just cruising right here, third throttle, we go to about 2000 RPM. Very, very solid low end torque. But all right, guys, coming out here, just leaning onto it about like a third of the way, going to about 3,400. We're gonna have a pretty nice set of twisties coming up over here. It'll give you a good first-hand look on the overall capabilities of this truck. But on the brakes, throwing it in right here, you see a little bit of body roll, but it stays pretty composed overall. Definitely very confidence-inspiring. I'm not worried about the overall roll and sway of this truck whatsoever. Uh, maybe it helps that we don't have leaf springs out rear. Definitely makes it feel more like a SUV slash car. But right here you see sharp twisty. We're gonna hit it way faster than we should. No understeer, it hits it like absolutely nothing. Really impressive truck. I'm actually surprised how it hits those turns without really overdoing it when it comes to overall body roll. But okay, one more sharp turn on the brakes, throwing it in. Pretty impressive overall. And on the gas all the way down, you can see we get to speed really quickly. Whew, we're gonna have to push it a whole lot farther than that. Uh, we got a guy stopping in front of us. We'll give him a little bit of space and I'll catch back with you in one second. But all right, guys, this road over here has one of the worst, worst stretches that I've ever seen when it comes to bumps. And you're gonna see that this Ram Longhorn Limited Edition can hit these bumps at absolutely absurd speeds and still keep its composure in an absolutely unbelievable manner. Like if I hit these bumps in my Camaro LT1 at anywhere close to these speeds, I probably wouldn't have a car left. But this vehicle with the off-road package, the heavy duty suspension, uh, the skid plates, that's not going to help when it comes to ride quality, but these beefier tires, it really eats up these bumps like they're not even there. Uh, this isn't even a bad part of this road. The road really gets rough in about like 500 like feet or so, maybe a thousand feet. It's going to get seriously, seriously rough, but boom, bumps. It's like they don't exist. <laughs> right here. It's like literally nothing. <laughs> boom. This is literally absurd how well this vehicle hits these bumps at the speeds that we're hitting them at. But 
Uh, that's about it when it comes to on-road performance. I hope you can pick it up from the camera how impressive this vehicle really is. Uh, let's take this thing out to one of my favorite off-road trails and really see what this Ram Longhorn Limited Edition with the 4x4 and off-road package got. But all right, guys, we'll try out the Sandy Trail in two-wheel drive. Uh, we are going to be going pretty uphill, and let's check it out. So we're going to have some wheel spin off the line in two-wheel drive, but still, with this off-road package, we get up here with literally no issues whatsoever. We get up to speed, pretty solid control, too, and it's swaying around a little bit on the Sandy track, but whew, it gets up here with basically no issues whatsoever. Very, very solid off-road truck. And even with those bumps on the Sandy Trail, the ride quality remains absolutely fantastic. Really impressive truck, both on and off-road. All right, this area is gonna be extremely sandy. Uh, there's gonna be like two feet of sand over here. So we're gonna try it out in four-wheel drive high. It's gonna be pretty high-speed run, but check it out. Boom, so it just drives over it. Like it's absolutely nothing. You guys don't understand the terrain and you can really pick up speed even in this dirt track over here. You're gonna see we have a really, really sandy area right over here, uh, like super, super fat amount of sand. And we get through it like it's literally nothing. This thing is an absolute monster when it comes to being an off-road truck. And you can see coming back up here, whoo, absolute beast, at least with this uh, off-road package. But hope you guys can pick it up through the camera. Really impressive truck. But all right, you guys see the sand over here in this area. We're just gonna stop right here, um, put it in two wheel drive. And as soon as we put it into two wheel drive, uh, you see that it turns the, the traction control on. We'll turn the traction control off and watch this. So we're in two wheel drive. We're gonna go absolutely nowhere. We are completely stuck. Uh, we're not gonna go, we're not getting out of this like sticky situation. It's just not happening. Uh, you got the traction control, stability control, all kicking in. Um, and the auto start stop. We could turn that off for the purpose of this review. But as soon as we put it into four wheel drive high, we don't even have to use four wheel drive low, but now that we're in four wheel drive high, we'll let up the brake, start to step on the accelerator. And you guys see, we're getting out of here literally, literally effortlessly. You see this terrain. It really is impressive to me the way that this Ram Longhorn limited edition with the off-road package and four x four performs in off-road conditions. But I hope you can pick it up through the camera, how impressive this truck really is. I'll try to find some more cool parts of this little trail area and catch back with you in one second. All right, guys, we have a pretty sharp incline right here. We're gonna hit it in four wheel drive high to make sure that we're gonna get up. As you see, we are having some issues with traction, but stepping on it right over here, we get up here with basically zero issues. And continuing along over here, we're gonna have a pretty sharp drop in one second. I hope you guys can pick it up through the camera, but throwing it in, you'll see this thing just hits it like it's nothing. And coming back up on this little obstacle, boom. This thing is an absolute beast. Yeah, we're in four wheel drive high right now, uh, but even in two wheel drive, I'm sure we would be able to get up that little obstacle. It's just with a lot more wheel spin, but hope you guys pick that up through the camera. This is a really impressive off-road truck. I'll catch back with you guys once you find another little cool obstacle on this trail. All right, guys, check this out. So we have an uphill little sandy area over here. Wide enough that it should be able to fit the Ram with no issues whatsoever. Um, it's pretty sandy, so we're obviously gonna have to use four wheel drive high, but let's see if this 2021 Ram 1500 Longhorn Limited Edition uh, has what it takes to make it up that little sandy incline. But there you have it guys, this truck is really impressive both on and off-road. Um, we weren't able to find the coolest obstacles, but for this uh, Longhorn Limited Edition, I think we did more than good enough. I uh, hope you guys got a good sense on how capable this vehicle is, not just on-road, but off-road too. It handles these really, really aggressive bumps on the road really well. It's almost like they don't even exist. And off-road, you can climb up just about any terrain with this 4x4 system. We didn't even lock the differentials. We didn't use four-wheel drive low. We just put in four-wheel drive high and we can get up just about any obstacles but i hope you enjoyed it guys and again huge thanks to my dad for letting me review and off-road his brand new longhorn limited edition ram absolute beast of a truck beautiful interior really enjoyed making it from the beginning all the way to the end huge thanks to my friend too for helping me record some of the off-road portion of this review but other than that thank you guys so much for watching i had a great time making this video 
I hope you enjoyed it half as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know I have endless gratitude for all the subscribers. You know, the channel is just not possible without you guys. But if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a, leave a like too. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if there's any vehicles you'd like to see reviewed in this channel too. I really appreciate comments like that. It gives me some great suggestions on new videos. But other than that, again, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time making this video. And I hope all of you have a great day.